Hi everyone, it's Breno from Boto and I'm here today to talk about two new blocks that we published today. Um, they're all about Discord and I'm going to show how to use them and also how to use them with Twitter or any other um, uh, messaging app you like or posting social media. So um, a couple of things here, if you're new to Boto, uh, please check out our other tutorials. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to create your account or how to set up the bot in Discord, uh, but we do have other tutorials for that. Um, and have a look if you want to skip this whole video and just go to the recipe and use it. Uh, have a look at the recipe uh, uh, links that I'm going to post here on the description. Um, otherwise, let's jump into it. Cool. <clears throat> So I'm here at my dashboard and I'm going to click in create a new boto. Um, and now I'm going to show you uh, the new blocks. So the first one is called Discord read message. And basically what it does, it reads a message from a Discord channel <laughs> or, or thread. <clears throat> um, I created a channel specifically for these uh, demos. So uh, it's called Discord read, very creative. And then you're going to see this checkbox called read all message. So by default, this is uh, not checked. And the reason for that is that it's going to protect your privacy. So it's only going to read messages that you mentioned the bot boto. But if you wanted to read all messages in that channel, <clears throat> then just uh, check this box. We're going to do that for this demo. Um, then uh, this will be reading messages from a channel and allow you to post that somewhere else, right? One of the options is to use our traditional Discord block for that, where you're going to be able to read this message and send to, to another Discord channel, or you can send on email, Slack, Telegram. Um, but I want to show you a new block that we have called Discord Raw Message. Uh, it's a bit of an advanced block. Um, it's for very specific use cases, but it serves us very well for this use case, which is it allows us to read the message and post the exact same JSON uh, into another uh, channel or server. <clears throat> the only thing that's not going to be posted are attachments for now, but embeds will show and I'm going to show you a little bit here how, how it works. So so here you're going to see that from the previous block we have content, which is the main message text, the author that published a timestamp, and then full message JSON. This is what we want to use. This is going to bring the full me message JSON from that channel and post in the new channel that we chose. So again, from Discord read uh, to Discord post, very creative names for the demo. Um, you then need to choose the frequency you want this bot to be running. So so it's going to be reading uh, the message on that frequency. It's not a trigger bot, so it's going to run periodically every X minutes. Uh, you can choose here whatever makes sense for you. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you. Let's go to Discord. I'm going to write something here. Uh, message. And I'm going to put the little robot here. Cool. <clears throat> so I don't have any other messages on Discord post. This is Discord read. And uh, I have authenticated both channels. So you know the drill, right? Probably. Um, if not, check our tutorials or the documentation. If you click in plus, you're going to see it. I'm going to turn this bot on. So what it's going to do is going to read message from the first channel and post on the second channel. So here, very simple, took, hey, this is a Discord message and posted it again on the new uh, channel. This can be very useful if you have different servers or if you work with other people and you want to see that message on a different server. Okay, so <clears throat> this is all cool. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced message and the reason why we need this Discord raw message block for, for that, which is a message that has an embed, which most of our bots message do. So, so let me show you how this would look like. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to delete the first block here just to make sure we start fresh from uh, a new block so it doesn't have the history um, of that channel that we were reading before. And then I'm going to go to OpenSea Sales, um, read all messages, and again, post the JSON on this Discord post. Saving the bot, and I'm going to turn it on. And now we should see the message coming. This is the message. This is the latest message we, we probably have on our showcase channel, which if you're not familiar with, we have these showcase sessions here. So see, here's the last, the last sales that we saw. Um, and then just happened five minutes ago. And then we have here uh, the bot read the message and posted here with a full embed, which is great. So <clears throat> very useful for more advanced messages. That's why we created this Discord raw message block. Um, now I'm going to turn it off and um, and show you something else that we could do with this uh, bot. I'm going to go back to our Discord read um, 
Discord read channel. Again, read all. Um, I'm going to keep using this um, same block here to post on, on the Discord uh, server uh, that we have. Uh, by the way, if you didn't notice, the last one was a message across servers, so you can do that, that no problem. Um, but now I'm going to send a message also somewhere else. You could say, take advantage of this bot to send an email, Slack, Telegram, but I'm going to show you how it looks like on Twitter. So I added the Twitter block here, and I'm going to select my personal account, and let's say um, Discord message from and then I can put the author of the message here. And then I'm going to put the message itself. Uh, I'm going to put content, which is the text. Of course, embeds are not going to work, so I can't bring the full message from Discord. I can only bring the main text from the context, right? Uh, Twitter has a different uh, um, format for, for messages. It's not as complex as the Discord message can be. So this is it. <clears throat> um, so let's save this bot. Um, and let's uh, and then let's go to Discord and let's mess write a new message on the Reads channel and say um, the first Discord to Twitter bot is live. It's live at Puro.io and put a little party uh, emoji here then. Cool. So let's see what happens now if we turn this on. Hopefully everything's going to work. Uh, first, I'm going to show you on Twitter. And we get the message from from Discord. Um, <clears throat> exactly like we wrote. Uh, the author is Brenaka. The first Discord to Twitter bot is live at bot.io. And we got even a little uh, bot.io embed here which wasn't really my intention, but cool. Good to see that this, this happens this way. Um, and then let's check uh, on Discord because we should have the same post here. And we do, same post is here. Uh, in a different way because we copied the JSON, the full ma message JSON, different than on Twitter where we edited a little bit the, the text, right? You could do the same for the Discord if you like this kind of format. But this is it. You know, these are the new blocks. I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, have a look also at our uh, Bodoverse. Uh, Bodo um, and here you can see uh, Discord um, to Twitter, uh, which is a new recipe just freshly uh, created. And haven't been used yet, so go ahead, check it out. There's also Discord to Discord recipes, and I'm going to put the link for both of them uh, here on the description. Um, if you like, please subscribe and uh, yeah, uh, check it out. Check our website, play with it, create more recipes with Telegram, Slack, email, whatever you think is useful for you. Share because it might be useful for someone else. So, looking forward to see what you create with Boto. Thank you. Cheers.